Hello, Blake Rudis here with Everyday HDR and HDR Insider, and today I'm going to show you a flash tutorial, meaning I'm going to show you a pretty cool topic in under three minutes. So let's go ahead and get started. No time to waste. What I'm going to show you is how to use the curves adjustment layer to create a dodge and burn effect. So I'm going to click down here on the curves adjustment layer, make one, press command or control J to make another copy. I'm going to call this lights and I'm going to call this darks. So it's essentially the same thing as dodging and burning. Select both of these curves adjustment layers, change them to luminosity. So they only affect tone and not color. So now what I'm going to do with the lights is bring them up to make everything lighter. Then go to the darks and bring everything down to make everything darker. Now I'm going to press Command or Control I on the masks. And that will invert them so that they are all black. What that means is that nothing has actually happened. I haven't done any adjustments until I go in with the white brush and paint on that mask to bring areas back because white reveals, right? Black hides and, and white reveals. Black conceals, white reveals. Is that the little uh, trick? So I'll go ahead and paint areas that I want to lighten up. So I want to lighten up this road a little bit, maybe some of the rocks on the side of the road. Definitely bring in some more of that area with the road there. Maybe come in here and make this a little bit lighter in the background with these clouds. Really just kind of bring in that light that's coming through those clouds from the lightning. Then I'm going to go to my darks and I'm going to paint there. Make this a little bit more dramatic in this cloud. Make this cloud a little bit more dramatic. Make this area a little bit more dramatic. Just kind of, I'm really just being kind of frivolous with this. And I can do that because I'm using a Wacom tablet and it's very forgiving because it's pressure sensitive. The harder I press, the, uh, the more paint, I guess, goes on there or the, the more the black actually shows on the image. So let's take a little quick little before and after look. So here is the before and here's the after. Definitely a lot more drama. So now you might be saying, well, why would I do this as opposed to a normal dodge and burn layer? Well, that's because you can actually just affect the opacity of just the lights or affect the opacity of just the darks. So you have your lights and darks separated. Beyond that, you can actually go into the curve of your lights and bring up the highlights even more. Maybe fluctuate with the darks of the highlight areas. It really gets some kind of like gritty, like almost grungy look going on here. Same thing with the darks. We can introduce some more light into those dark areas or make those dark areas even darker, protect those mid-tone darks, and do the same with our highlights. So now, not only do we have the dodge and burn kind of effect going on here, we also have a way to adjust our dodging and burning independently so that uh, you have full control over your lights and darks in your image. So again, my name is Blake Rudis. This was Dodging and Burning with the Curves Adjustment Layer, your flash tutorial in under three minutes, just as promised. If you like this, please share it, comment on it, and subscribe.